Hey, what is up guys? Hope you're having a great day. So it's finally the weekend and that means I get to make a video for you guys. So today we're going to be making a motion activated airsoft landmine. Wow, that's a mouthful. Now before I start, a lot of you have been saying, your videos are awesome, but I don't really have any extra money to spend on projects. Now, I completely get this, and uh, I did some thinking, and I came up with a way to generate money in the form of Amazon gift cards, because Amazon gift cards are the best gift you can get, and I will be giving these away each month. So if you're interested, click that first link in the description for more. Alright, let's get into this project. So for materials, you're going to need a motion-activated door alarm. This is like 10 bucks on Amazon. You're also going to need a party popper. You guys know how I love party poppers. Uh, a 9 volt battery, some wire, a small DC motor, and some nichrome wire. All the links are in the description. Alright, so start by cutting open the base of the party popper. Now remove the party popper charge, unroll the paper until you start to see the explosive inside, then rip the paper about a centimeter from the charge. And then grab about a 1.5 inch piece of nichrome wire. Bend it at 90 degrees in half and stick it right up next to the explosive. Now roll the paper back up like this and tape it up. Make sure the paper is rolled and taped tight. Now put the charge back into the party popper like this, so the two ends of the nichrome wire are sticking out. I put one in through the hole that the string was in and the other end out of the side through the cut that we made. Now tape it all back up. Finally, take the top off and remove the streamers. Now load in some BBs and put the top back on. And now you're done with this part. Alright, so now open up the doorbell, then unscrew the circuit board. Detach the wires from the speaker and attach this upper wire to your DC motor. Then solder the other end of your DC motor to the red positive wire on the battery housing. Oh yeah, this doorbell runs off three AAA batteries, so you will need those as well. Now when you turn on the doorbell and activate it, the motor should spin. Now put all the screws back in and close everything up. The motor should be sticking out of the side. Then grab a paper clip and cut off about a third of it. Then bend it around the tip of your DC motor and glue it into place. Now grab a small piece of cardboard or plastic, uh, about 2 by 3 inches. Then tape your DC motor down to it like this. Now take the rest of your paper clip and cut that in half. Take one half and bend it like this so it forms squares. Now grab a piece of wire about 4 inches long and solder it to the straight end of the paper clip. Then tape the paper clip right next to the motor so when it spins the paper clip attached to the motor and the paper clip attached to the base touch. This is going to act as a switch. Then grab another piece of wire. Uh, make sure this wire is very flexible so the motor can move it. Uh, attach this piece of wire to the end of the paper clip on the motor. Lastly, attach two more wires to a 9 volt battery and attach one of the wires from the 9 volt battery to the taped down paper clip. You're now done. I went ahead and added some alligator clips to the ends of the two detonation wires, but you don't have to do this. Alright, to load the landmine, just attach the two wires coming off the landmine to the two wires coming off the party popper. Then turn on the doorbell, place your device down, and you're done. The next time someone comes walking by, it will be sprayed with a shower of BBs. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and uh, like me on Facebook and Instagram for updates on new videos. Also, check back next week for my 50,000 subscriber special. Once again, you guys are the best. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.